welcome back to the channel okay so today's video is going to be on hair care so yeah um, the good folks at Olaplex reached out to me and wanted me to try the full line of Olaplex products I was like yes I'm so geeked about that because I have had an opportunity to use the number three before in the past so now i get to use the full line now keeping in mind one and two are um the products that um only a licensed cosmetologist can use and it has to be done in the salon but zero three and then four through eight you can use at home so um i am going to demonstrate how I use the full line of their products. Um, I don't think I have a clip of number eight, but um, I will show you guys the product itself. And, uh, but yeah, so if you're interested in Olaplex, then keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a hair day. My hair is a hot mess. So, um, the gut folks at Olaplex sent me over some products to try to see how they would do on my hair. So, um, as you saw in the intro, I have, um, the number zero, which is the intensive bond building hair treatment. Um, this primes, repairs, strengthens, and protects all hair types. This intensive bodybuilding bond building treatment is best used as a two-part system with number three um, hair perfecter to strengthen and repair all hair types so i'm going to put this on to saturate my hair totally and then i'm going to follow up with the number three <laughs> this is the hair perfecter um, in the series of this olaplex uh, products this but this is the only one that I am familiar with the rest of the line I am excited to try so let's get started but now I want to go ahead before I jump into the video because of the way the system works it's numbered as you saw in the very beginning so I wanted to make sure that when I am talking about it you kind of have a little bit of some background on it okay so i'm just going to kind of start off with some of the questions that i had regarding olaplex so my first question was is olaplex a protein-based product okay is it a protein reconstructor what exactly is it and if it isn't you know is it necessary for us to do a protein treatment so my the response that i got from that question is that Olaplex number three does not contain any protein. So that's first and foremost. It is not a protein treatment. It is none of that. It is primarily made up of Olaplex's patented active ingredient, this aminopropyl diglycol demyelate. This patented active ingredient works entire, internally in the hair to relink and repair your disulfide bonds. Now, disulfide bonds are the foundation of healthy hair. When disulfide bonds break, this causes protein loss and breakage. Disulfide bonds are broken every day in various ways, whether it be chemically through coloring processes, perms relaxers, mechanically through brushing or manipulation of hair, 
um, or thermally through styling tools such as flat irons, etc. This is why it is impossible to overuse Olaplex. If protein and moisture loss is an issue, you would need to address that specifically as well as with protein treatments and moisture uh, treatments in addition to using Olaplex. My next question was, what exactly does zero and three do? What do they do? So the response that I got back is that zero contains the highest concentration of our patented ingredient when used prior to applying number three, okay? So it acts as a primer to number three and the results is like 68% more repair to the hair. Okay, so we are saturated. All right, let me say leave on for 10 minutes. All right, let me get the edges. I'm about going through this bottle. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'll come back after I have shampooed and conditioned. I'll let this sit for 10 minutes. Let's set the old timer. Okay, That's the next chance. one is how long um, should I leave number three on my hair? Um, you know, for coarse curly hair. Their response was number three reaches the max efficacy at 45 minutes. So however, um, as long as the product itself is wet it is working and you cannot overuse it so feel free to leave it on um, as long as you choose so 45 minutes is the max or as long as it's wet it's always working i want to kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like i mean you know my hair is <laughs> It, it is so non-porous. I mean, it, it will not drink any kind of water. So, but that's that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on this conditioner. It smells so good. And it's so thick. Look at that. So creamy, so thick. The shampoo was amazing. Oh my gosh, it was so nice and thick. And the lather is adding heat to number three, effective. And her response was heat has no effect, either positive or negative. It is okay either way and should be used in whichever method is more comfortable for you. Okay, I'm gonna leave it on for three minutes and then I'm gonna get back in the shower. 
shower and rinse it out. And then the next step is going to be the six and seven, I think it is, which is the um, leave-in conditioner and the oil. I'll be back. Okay, so the final step of this process is the bond smoother, which is number six. This is the leave-in reparative styling cream. So it claims to reduce frizz, nourishes, and protects. And then this is the bonding oil, and it claims to reduce frizz and flyaways, extends color or renews vibrancy. It's a heat protectant up, in, up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, shortens drying time, softens and detangles, uh, UV protection, no residue, color safe, vegan and alcohol free. The leave-in, it says to apply a very small amount to damp or dry hair concentrating product on your mid, your mid length to ends and comb through style as desired. The bonding oil, apply a small amount to damp or dry hair style as desired. There is, it's a metered drop, so it doesn't come out, you tap it and it dispenses a very small amount. I, mean, I don't know if you can see that, but that's what you do. There's no smell. I don't smell anything, which is nice. All right, so let's get with it. Mainly focusing on the mid to ends. Lastly, I ask um, how many metered drops in the number seven should be applied to thick coarse hair. Now, I also mentioned that I use like four or five drops in the metered drop. And um, she said every hair type, texture, and length is different. So we always recommend starting with a small amount and building up as needed. So. I'm just gonna finish the head and then I'll come back and let you guys see. All right, so here's the final look. Okay guys, so um, this is probably going into like maybe week five of using Olaplex. So I have added something to the regimen that to me works very well. So I have this steamer. I don't want to pick it up, but but I have this steamer here, and um, it's you know actually like a, a steamer for the face. But I I I got this tip from Natural Eighty Five. But any type or you know a hooded steamer, any type of steam, something that can help the hair, um, you know open that cuticle so that moisture or product or treatment can penetrate the hair shaft. Okay, so I've got that nozzle where it's just, you know, right there at the hair. And I've done nothing to it. I just sectioned the hair. I didn't detangle or anything, just um, pulled it apart uh, to create sections. And then I'm just gonna let the steam pretty much do the work. And I'm just gonna twist this up and then complete the other sections. A 
Okay, and there's that one. It's nicely saturated with the product. And I'm gonna finish the rest. Okay guys, so I am shampooed and deep conditioned and everything. I did the Bond Intense Moisture Mask and I forgot to do this step, but this is a new product and um, it is awesome. So you would do this or this step um, after you wash, you would not use the number five, which is the conditioner, you would use the mask instead. And I let this stay on for about uh, 15, 20 minutes. Now to go ahead and twist with, um, or put my leave-in conditioner on and my oil. And I will just twist with whatever, you know, buttercream that I have. And that's it. One side done. Okay, hair is all twisted up and I'm gonna stretch it out and we're gonna see what we get. Okay guys, so I'm really sorry that I was not able to insert clips from the very last um, Olaplex treatment that I did. I really don't know what happened to the clip, but um, you know, you, you guys can see my hair now. And I, I really think that, I mean, it, it just feels really good. Uh, that dryness that, you know, that I typically have, I don't really have that. Um, not too much anymore. Um, have um, a, a little bit uh, more body to it, even in an older state like this right here. Um, I did twist it up uh, yesterday and pulled it apart, but I haven't done any washing. And that was just using some distilled water and a little bit of the number six just to twist it with. And um, I just kind of pulled it apart. I am really enjoying the products, I really am. I will leave all of the information on Olaplex in the description box as I normally do. Um, links, shoppable links that you guys can click on um, for each product and just check it out. I will keep you guys updated on how everything is going with the hair. I'll probably give another update on this. Uh, give me about give me about a month or so just to kind of see how things are going with Olaplex and also incorporating um, the number eight. Um, I know I didn't do a full on demonstration of how I um, actually, you know, put the mask in, but maybe the next time that I do an Olaplex update, I'll be sure to include that, you know, in the clip as well. But. Anyhow, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you the next time. Bye.